Assalamu alaikum viewers, I hope you are fine and doing well. Today we are going to talk about uh, how can we write into a txt file, right? Like create a text file and then write something into the text file. And then uh, how can we read from the text file? So first of all, we will do tutorial on how can we write into a text file. I have already done a uh, few tutorials on ASP.NET/MVC crude operation, right? If you check my uh, channel, you will found there. So what I will do when I will be creating a new record, so that record I will write into a text file, right? <clears throat> so here, if you see, this is a action called create, right? And when I post so it will come here and when it um, it is validated then it will come here after it is saved into database okay what I will do I will convert that object into serialized object okay into JSON and then that JSON okay file what I will do I will get this path right this is my new file dot txt extension then i will check if this file uh, exist and this path mean this file exist and this whole path okay if it exists it means override override whatever is there in the text don't create again and this says create again append true okay stream writer this is stream writer and here i write line of code what i write this json json value i write here and then i close this okay so this is the path okay what it does this path creates this file with txt extension okay if it comes to this condition it will overwrite the a new file will not be created but in this condition it will create a pen to me it will create another file for us okay and uh, here it will write that line whatever the line if it is some string it will write this string there if it is something else but here we have object complete object I convert it into JSON and then I write the that JSON into that file so we will check how can we write into a uh, file Google Chrome I will run it okay let me fix this problem there is some error okay guys so application is run I will go to user list I have done or uh, could complete crude, crude operation in the previous tutorial if you want to learn you can go and check that out here I have this edit delete and create new I will go to create new okay I will put a debugger here so that we can see okay because after I press the register create button it will go to that code I will just check create see it came here okay so this object is you know converted into JSON okay then what I did I I uh, took this file this complete path and check if this path exists with this file okay it does not exist it came here so it will create a file for me if you see uh, this is the part D then this folder this folder and uh, and then this folder I think we don't need this one we have to remove it it will not be created I will stop it the path is incorrect you have to give it correct path for example it's inside D this my application is inside D then this inside this folder then test application inside text application again and then there is a file folder if you go to this you can D then this folder test application test application and then on inside this test application you have this file folder so it will be created here okay I will run it again so I give it a correct path 
and it will create file inside this file folder right okay i will create it i will run it again okay guys so again i have run the application go to create new some data okay create okay so go next okay there is no file it created new file okay the file is created but there is no data okay in that file so it will go and write that json format into that file here okay everything is done continue okay now we will check if the file is there or not so yes we have that file my new file dot txt if we check yes we have the data as well okay so what we did again i just paste it uh, this piece of code after we save the data okay this is the code for saving the data into the database we have done it in the previous tutorial through entity framework so uh, when i click on this create uh, button here it comes to this action result what i did i simply converted this object into json okay through json convert okay and it it is taken from this library net uh, newton soft or json okay then i took this path okay i need to create this file with txt extension then i checked if the file exists if it exists go and override if it does not exist go and create new this you have to pass this parameter it will simply if it you pass a pen true it will simply create a new one okay after the file is created with txt extension just go and write this json value into that file and close it class so this is a very simple way how can you write something how can you create a file and then write a data into that file right so this is a, a very simple way how can you do, do it in the next tutorial i will do how can you retrieve that file for example i have mm, converted this object into json value and then i saved it so in the next story i will take back this json value and then convert it back to object okay and then you can do whatever you want with that object so i hope you got it and uh, if you have any question you can ask me if you need this code this is the line of code for uh, actually this from here we created object of txt writer okay you need text writer and to text writer stream writer you can create a file and then you can write a line into that file right so if you this is the code from here to here including this creating the object of text writer and uh, you can uh, create this file Okay, if you have any question you can ask me and thank you so much uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos